Hey, this is Andy in the Kuryakin Garage, and today I'll be demonstrating how to install our Prism Plus Pro Light Kit. Since this installation is really up to you, we'll be laying out the lights on a table and explaining how the lights and controller work as we go. We offer three different kits depending on how big you want to go. The Core, the Impact, and the Pro Kit. For this video, we'll be using the Pro Kit, which offers the most of the three options. The Pro Kit includes the Bluetooth controller, light pods, four inch and eight inch flex strips, a variety of extension cords and Y connectors, loop connectors, and an assortment of items to help with installation. Before doing anything, determine where you want to put the lights on the vehicle and ensure those areas are clean. For this demonstration, we're doing a very general layout of the lights. It's up to you to get creative, but make sure you have enough extension cords and lights to reach the areas you want to light up. If you need additional lights or extensions, individual components are available separately. First, you're going to need to gain access to the battery to install the Bluetooth controller and the battery voltage monitor wire. The battery voltage monitor wire gets connected to the positive terminal of the battery. Once the controller is installed, it's time to connect the extensions and lights. Before you do, take note of the controller's four channels, front, left, and right, rear, left, and right. If you're not using the turn signal and brake light functionality, you do not need to adhere to these designations for channel orientation. In addition, you also don't need to use all of the channels if you don't want to. When connecting lights or extensions, make sure the raised dot and Kuryakin logo are on the same side. On the vehicle, mock up where you want to place the lights without sticking them on just yet. Be sure to leave extra slack to account for all the wire routing. Turn on the controller, open the Kuryakin Prism app on your phone, and pair the two devices. Once they're paired, select one of the modes to turn on the lights. Test for proper light function before fully installing them on your vehicle. If everything works as it should, adhere the lights in place and complete the wire routing, making sure that they will not be pinched or melted. If you are having issues, here are some common things to check. Make sure your battery is fully charged and has a minimum of 12.4 volts. Make sure that you're not exceeding the maximum 100 LED count per channel. The included instructions tell you how many LEDs are in each light. You must use a loop connector at the end of each channel that has lights connected. If not, the lights will not work. If you have used a Y connector, the loop connector must be placed on the end of the chain with the most LEDs. For example, with this Y connection setup, there are 16 LEDs on the left side and 8 LEDs on the right side. Therefore, the loop connector goes on the left side. The other side doesn't need a loop connector. If you're still having issues, reference the instructions or reach out to our tech team for help. Once everything is working properly, reinstall your seat and anything else you may have removed during the installation process and you're all set to go.